email is rarely a form of true work because normally what you're doing is you're communicating something and it may be a method, it's a tool, but it is not the only tool. But the number of times that I hear people say, I spend 40, 60, 80% of my day in my email, that rarely is actually moving the company or the conversation forward. So if I have a company culture that sends unnecessary emails, I am decreasing the efficiency of every person because now I have more and more stuff to sort through. And the stress that I hear from people, their number one stressor is how many emails are in my inbox? How long is it going to take for me to sort through this? And also, how do I prioritize which ones need my attention? So if I have 200 emails in my inbox, I may only have time to get to 30. Which ones need to be the highest priority? And often what I see is this unnecessary stress of there are certain people in the organization that I know that if I do not respond to them quickly, I'm going to be in more trouble. And sometimes that's legitimate. Sometimes it's just an internalized fear or a cult of personality that can happen within a company. But then people spend so much time stressing about getting the email sent that they never ask the question, does this email need to be replied to? Should this email have been sent in the first place? There are many things that could very easily just be summarized in a memo. Like, hey, here's what was talked about. And yes, that may still come as an email, but it may eliminate 10 other emails to consolidate that of what's happened versus here's individual drip on every single one of these topics.